In order to evaluate the given expressions, we must follow the order of operations shown below. And notice how there are four steps in the order of operations. The first step is to simplify within the innermost parentheses or grouping symbols. Looking at the first expression, this means we determine the difference inside the parentheses first. Seven minus five is equal to two. And therefore the expression simplifies to 60 divided by five times two. Step two in the order of operations is to simplify the exponents. We don't have any exponents and therefore we move to step three. Step three, we multiply and divide from left to right. So we do not multiply and then divide. Multiplication and division have the same priority. We multiply and divide from left to right. Looking back at our expression, this means the next step is to perform this division. 60 divided by five equals 12. The expression simplifies to 12 times two, and of course 12 times two equals 24. The expression simplifies to 24. Let's look at a second example. Again, the first step is to simplify within the innermost parentheses or grouping symbols, and therefore we begin by determining this difference inside the parentheses. Eight minus five equals three. The expression simplifies to two plus five times three. Now looking at the expression, it might be tempting to determine the sum here, but that would not be correct. Going back to the order of operations, step two is to simplify the exponents. We don't have any exponents, so we move to step three. Step three, we multiply and divide from left to right, which means the next step is to determine the product of five and three. Five times three equals 15. The expression simplifies to two plus 15. And of course, the last step is to determine the sum Two plus 15 equals 17. So one last thing I do want to mention is if you're used to using the saying, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, or the word PEMDAS to remember the steps in the order of operations, you do need to be careful because there are not six steps, there are only four steps in the order of operations, where multiplication and division have the same priority, and therefore we multiply from left to right in step three, and addition and subtraction also have the same priority, which means for step four, we add and subtract from left to right. I hope you found this helpful.